بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so next thing ntp startup value it defines the accuracy of the time source uh even we can say that it's a distance between the networking device and the authoritative time source now in general uh, let's take an example the the ntp server can be some external clock so maybe some external clock on the internet or maybe some kind of atomic clocks on the internet so ntp server and it is providing the time to some of my devices maybe maybe one of my device here which is referred as ntp client okay so so this device is going to contact the external clock or ntp server on the internet to get a synchronized time and i got some multiple devices here let's say i got some multiple devices so i can configure all these devices to contact this ntp server on the external clock on the internet to to get the synchronized time or i can configure this as an ntp server which is my internal server probably and this internal server is like um, it is like a server for all the devices inside my network now for, now this is my inside network and i want all my inside devices to contact this device this server to get synchronized time now these all devices are referred as ntp clients so the by default the external clock uh, will have the startup value of either 0 or 1 depends uh, and let's say if the startup value is 1 here startup value defines the number of hops your actual source is away and once it sends the time to this device it becomes 2 and if it is a server sending a time to other devices the startup value increments to 3 So likewise, if if this device is uh, NTP like NTP server, maybe this is configured as an NTP server for other other devices. Maybe this is my branch office uh, is going to be the NTP server for my end devices. Then the startup value will automatically increment to four. Now startup value defines how how accurate the the time is. Now let's say if this device is getting the time uh, from some other device with the startup value of some of the source may be the startup value of 2 and here it is receiving the startup value of 4 it's going to prefer this one just like rip hop counts so we generally call a startup value defines the accuracy of the time source which is lesser is better if it if you are getting the time from multiple uh, servers and generally 0 0 or 1 is for the atomic clock okay so again most of the network devices lacks the proper hardware for for accurate time source with atomic clocks So if if you're using some your internal servers, generally we start with the startup value of two, and then when it when it sends to next device, it becomes three. So if we don't define any startup values default, I think in the iOS routers it it takes somewhere around seven. So startup value one is always for the servers which don't run the NTP time servers on the internet, and generally startup value two, as I said, a server receives the time from the startup value of one. So from here it goes through here, which is two. and then goes on it sends to another device client maybe 3 and if that is a server for some other devices it becomes 4 like that and generally startup value will decide the the accuracy of the time source and it and it increments as it moves from one server to another server 